Oh, hello there. I'm Corrine from the North Balford Library with Lakeland Library Region. Welcome to Soothing Stories and Stretches. Soothing Stories and Stretches are a different type of story time. Rather than me reading a picture book and doing lots of active songs and stretches, I'll be telling a story and focusing on our breathing and calming down for the night. Before we begin our story t- for tonight, let's go over how this will work. When a calming, sparkly blue background is on the screen, focus on sitting up very straight and taking nice, deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. When we switch to the regular videos of me, I'm going to be telling stories and leading you through some basic stretches and yoga poses, all to help you relax and focus on your body. Let's start with the deep breathing before I tell a story. Let's start off with some stretches. So we have our yoga position dice, which I'll throw, and then we'll do the position described on it. I'll also post the position on the screen when we do it, and we'll get into position and then count to 10, breathing in on odd numbers, out on even numbers. Our first yoga position is the tree pose. So, Stand tall and reach your arms above your head like branches on a tree. Place one foot firmly on the ground and then bring your other foot to the inside of your knee. Breathe deeply. So I'll put that down. Stand nice and tall, arms up. And maybe I'll stand like this, see if that helps my balance a little bit more. Let's try this again. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. And let's do a second yoga position to really help us drain away the day. All right, so the second position is child pose. So get down onto all fours and then rest your bum on your heels with your chest on the floor and your arms stretched out in front of you while breathing deep. All right, so down on all fours. Bring your knees out a little bit. Bring your bum back and breathe deep. One, two, three. All right, now before we do our story, we should do our relaxing breathing. So sit up nice and straight and breathe nice and deep while the sparkly blue background goes. Are you ready for a story now? Tonight, I'll tell a version of The Princess and the Pea by Hans Christian Andersen. Once upon a time, there was a prince who wanted to marry a princess, but she would have to be a real princess, according to his mother. He traveled all over the world to find one but nowhere could he get what he wanted. 
there were princesses enough, but it was difficult to find out whether they were real ones. There was always something about them that was not as it should be. So he came home again and was sad, for he would have very much liked to have a real princess. His mother, the queen, decided that she would have a test to prove that a princess really was a princess. One evening, a terrible storm came on. There was thunder and lightning and the rain poured down in torrents. Suddenly, a knocking was heard at the city gate and the old king went to open it. It was a princess standing out there in front of the gate. But oh goodness gracious, what a sight the rain and wind had made her look. The water ran down from her hair and clothes. It ran down into the toes of her shoes and out again at the heels. And yet, she said that she was a real princess who was traveling to see some family and fell into some mishaps and needed a place to stay. Well, we'll soon find out, thought the old queen. She decided to run her test to see if a princess really was a princess. The queen got some help from a maid and went into the guest bedroom, took all the bedding off the bed frame and laid a dried pea at the bottom. Then they took 20 mattresses and laid them on top of the pea and then 20 feather down beds on top of the mattresses. The mattresses were so high that the princess had to climb a ladder and could touch the ceiling from laying down. On this, the princess had to lie all night. While they were getting the room ready, the queen arranged for the princess to have a warm bath and a freshly washed nightgown scented with lavender. The queen then gave the princess warm milk and had the court musician play a soothing tune and ordered a maid to sleep on a cot by the fireplace. The queen had said it was to tend to anything the princess needed, but really the maid was there to see if the princess was snoring. The night passed. In the morning, the princess was asked how she had slept. Oh, very badly, said she. I had scarcely closed my eyes all night. Heaven only knows what was in the bed, but I was lying on something so hard that I am black and blue all over my body. It's horrible. I tossed and turned all night trying to get comfortable. The queen spoke with the maid and she confirmed that the princess had tossed and turned all night and had, and had even asked for more warm milk and another soothing song. Now they knew that she was a real princess because she had felt the dry pee right through the 20 mattresses and 20 feather down beds. Nobody but a real princess could be as sensitive as that. So the prince took her for her, his wife, and the pea was put into a museum where it still may be seen if no one has stolen it. And they all lived happily ever after the end.
Do you think you could feel the pee under all of those mattresses? I know I couldn't. I hope you enjoyed this story. And now let's do one more yoga position before we go to do a little bit more relaxed breathing. All right, so, so our third yoga position is butterfly pose. While well, sitting down, put the flats of your feet together, then put your arms on your feet. Your, arm, your legs and your arms make the butterfly wings. And if you want, you can gently move them while breathing deep. All right, so, so one butterfly wing, the other butterfly wing. And if you want, you can just gently flap your wings or you can just sit still with this. So remember, we're gonna count to 10 with this. Breathe in on odd numbers, out on even numbers, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and we'll do our relaxing breathing one more time. So sit up nice and straight and breathe nice and deep while the sparkly blue background goes. Did you like the story and do you feel nice and calm after the stretches? I'm glad. I hope you have a great rest of your night and see you next time.